Hey guys, it's Steph here again today, and today I am finally doing my um, book review on the Great Nations of Rendaria. Um, it is part of the Children's of Gaia um, series book thing, I guess. I'm not really sure what you would call it um, by Oneshi Press. Um, first of all, I would like to say that this book is so beautifully made. Um, the cover is wonderful. Um, the inside of the book is um, illustrated. Um, and the pages aren't white like a normal book. Um, but I want to show you a little bit of the inside. And one of my favorite things about this book is the um, illustrations. They are beautiful, wonderful, wonderful, um, you know, illustration. Um, but overall, the storyline in the book is pretty awesome. And I read this book in about two sittings. It's not a super long book, but it's a little hard to read um, due to some of the names and things that is used throughout the book for the um, you know, the other world or whatnot that they, um, portray in here. Um, but the Oneshi Press Company is absolutely amazing. Um, I, I got this book, um, because I saw it and I loved it and I wanted to read it. So I contacted the reader or the, the writer, um, JL, I, I'm not quite sure if that's how you pronounce his name, um, Draco or Draco, however you want to say it. Um, he's the one that illustrated this book. Um, and I also have a few other things to show you guys that came along with it. When I got the book, I got, um, a little sneak peek into, uh, Tracy Queen. Um, which is, I think, gonna be my favorite. I'm not, I haven't quite read it yet. Um, I also got a little sneak peek into Pack as well, which another one seems like it'd be really awesome. And then I got, like, a little postcard-looking thing of the book that I'm reading with the map, um, the world map on the other side. And I got two stickers. Um, this is the Great Nations of Rendaria. Um, and this is, like, Oneshi Press, um, the symbol. And, of course, I got a cute little business card. And that's what I got with the book, along with, um, it is signed by the um, illustrator as well which is really awesome um, but as I was reading through this I tried to picture um, what world I thought I would do best in or what world I liked the most um, and I chose um, Lithicus only because that's like the um, artsy world um, or nation I guess you should say the artsy nation um, you know, for instance, here's like a little dictation of, you know, knights, poets, dancers, illuminators, pupils, and three generations. Um, so this would be the nation that I would choose to live in. Um, but yeah, definitely the ending is, it definitely catches your attention and it makes you want to read the next book in the, um, the, seri the series, which I think is going to be absolutely awesome but on top of that I'm also a patreon um, of Oneshi Press and I will leave the link to their patreon account down in the description please go and subscribe to them um, you know even if you give them a dollar it, it helps um, but I, I got one of the very first anthologies um, that they did in the mail um, which is absolutely awesome it was really cool to see um, kind of through it a little bit um, a little tidbits of each one of the, um, ones that they do. I'm really sorry that I'm saying um a lot. I'm just trying to think. And I'm a one take kind of person. I don't edit my videos very often. Um, yeah. So, but I, what I like the most, even from reading this, is, uh, Tracy Quinn. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still trying to get over a cold. A Tra Tracy Queen. I don't know why I said Quinn. Um, and Pat. Um, I definitely think that Pac's going to be another one of my favorites, um, in here. Plus, as well as being a Patreon, I got a little picture of the pack um, thing. And then I got a personalized letter from, um, Tracy Queen with her signature and her little, her little kiss on it, which is amazing and awesome. And then I got 
a big poster of Tracy Queen as well, signed by the um, author of Tracy Queen. So that's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I will definitely leave their Patreon account down in the description bar, along with all of my inner tube following things, if you want to follow me, um, as well as, you know, whatever. Um, but also, let me get back to my book review. I give this book a 5 out of 5 stars, um, because I loved multiple aspects of this book. The storyline was awesome. I loved learning about the different nations. Um, you know, I, I could personalize myself, or how would you say that, um, I guess just picture myself in one of the nations, and, um, yeah, the only thing I would say is the, some of the names are kind of hard to, um, you know, pronounce, but, you know, you just use your imagination, and it makes it fun to read. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the next book. But if you guys want to get a copy of this, again, I will leave the link to it down in the description. I definitely recommend it as a... So anyways, my camera died there on me. Um, but again, I recommend this book. Um, it's definitely a great read, and it's a quick read. Um, anybody can read it in one sitting. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!